were turned away by police. He's in prison. He can't leave. And we can't visit him. It's a prison. We'll fight for his freedom. He's a Senegalese in his own country. Residents are fed up with tension in the area, including this lady, one of Mr. Sonko's neighbours. They burnt tyres and then they left. We're not safe. They should have brought him elsewhere, just not here. We have children, we have schools. One week after the end of deadly unrest that shook Senegal, the country still counts its losses. Volunteers and staff from Dakar's Sheikh Anta Diope University are trying to salvage what can still be out of 200,000 university archives. Youth armed with the Molotov cocktail allegedly set ablaze the building. Until proven otherwise, students came and deemed it necessary to burn down the archives of the Faculty of Letters and Humanities, and a despicable result. I'm short of words. Emotional Abdullah Kmane Kunta, an archivist and documentarist at the Faculty Arts, said, Cities across Senegal were plunged into chores after a jail term was handed to opposition leader Osmani Sonko. His supporters claim he was framed. The Czech Anta Diope University archives included documents spanning from 1957 to 2010. The destroyed files are mainly student registration forms, photos, birth certificates, report cards, and others. Student archivists such as Soleiman Diallo are helping sort through burnt archives. We are both saddened and devastated. Seeing archives like this burned down means that a part of the history of the university and in particular the faculty of arts will be missing, he lamented. At the National Archives Office, also located in Dakar, the director admits Senegal has never had a national building devoted to housing its documents. Nearly 20 linear kilometers of papers are stored in difficult conditions. There are the oldest document dates back to 1672. Fatomata Diara urges the university incident should serve as a wake-up call to the authorities. Three days were necessary to retrieve the documents from the burnt building. They are essential to retrace a student's journey, issue a diploma or to authenticate it at the request of an employer, for example. Senegal lags in terms of digitalization of archives despite the launch of a project in 2021 aimed to digitalize 15 million birth certificates. The project cost some 18 billion francs, about 27.5 million euros. According to experts in digitalization, ISA say the nation lack political will to sort this problem. Thank you so much for watching.